Mark, commiserations, an incredible match on an incredible day here at the Crucible. How do you reflect on that one? Yeah, gutted, mate, you know. Obviously, like any match you lose in the World Championships, no matter what round it's gutting, because obviously it only comes round once a year and you, you want to do well. Uh, irrelevant that I've won it three times before, obviously still trying my hardest to try and win it again and obviously come so close, you know. I mean, last three frames, I didn't really do that much wrong. Obviously, I had a chance, but I was 60 behind. Done well to get back in the frame. Felt as though I played some really good safety shots. I had Ronnie in trouble, and every time he hit it, he sort of got away with it. So, just one of them games, you know, it just wasn't meant to be today. How do you reflect on the deciding frame itself? Yeah, I mean, like I say, I mean, up until when I did get a chance, I was sat there from 16 14. I don't think I'd potted a ball or done anything wrong. Ronnie just gone long red, won the frame. Another long red, won the frame. So I was just thankful to get a chance in the end. Uh, if I get on the last red, I think I'll clear up myself. I just played quite a quite a poor shot on the green, but after that, I bit the bullet. Uh, felt like I played all the shots right uh, and got no reward for it. So it's a shame. You mentioned in another interview about some of the shots that he was playing, and you probably weren't too happy with the way he was applying himself at that point. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, it just felt like obviously it was a bit disrespectful to me and the game. You know, obviously, like if you're playing anybody else, uh, there's not many players who will just get down and just hit them 100 mile an hour when you put them in a the snooker. Sometimes they'll try and work it out and try and play safe or try and get you in trouble back. But uh, he just felt as though he was doing that for, throughout the match, really. So. Just thought it was a little bit disrespectful to me uh, and the game, but I mean, I don't know, you'll have to ask Ronnie himself. Irrespective of the competitive element of it being a semi final, does it hurt on a personal note because you guys are quite close off the table as well? Uh, every match you, you lose, obviously, it hurts, no matter who it is. Obviously, being the semi final and being so close to the final, obviously, it's gutting, but uh, from where I was six months ago, I feel as though my game's in good shape and looking forward to next season. As you say, game's in good shape. You've done a lot of great work with Chris Henry. It's clear that, you know, the Mark Selby of, not Mark Selby of old, but Mark Selby at the top of his game seems to be, you know, there or thereabouts again. Yeah, I feel like obviously my game's very, very close to being back to where it was. So uh, that's why it's gutting, obviously, losing the way I did, because I felt as though if I beat Ronnie, I was really confident of going on to win it again, but uh, wasn't meant to be. And I wish Ronnie and Karen all the best in the final.